up everybody? So today we are going for a moto vlog to District 2. There's a Maserati up ahead making a bunch of noise. So yeah, we're going to go look at uh, Diamond Island. Uh, pretty much the highest rated apartments in D2. So, am I going to rent an apartment in D2? Probably not. But I'm going to do my due diligence and look. Why not? Beautiful weather out today, I'll tell you that. Couldn't ask for better weather right now. It says it's 13 minutes, so that's got to be just like right over the bridge. We'll see. The place looks pretty cool. It looks like a fucking resort. It looks like it's made for kids. Like, you yeah, have a bunch of kids. It's kind of the reason why I like uh, Golden River as well, as you know. There's kids here, but, but not that many. Not that I have a problem with kids. Uh, but yeah, you know, we don't have a family. For us, uh, Golden River's pretty good. We may or may not have found an absolutely amazing pocket listing at Golden River. We may or may not have signed the lease for this. We'll see. Who knows? Maybe not. Maybe somewhere else. I'll keep you guessing. So you can see City Garden up above there. City Garden's very popular because <clears throat> it's one of the only places where you can have a dog. So it, it's... And there's a lot of dogs there. Like... I ain't joking. There's a lot of dogs. I mean, both places I looked at, I could hear dogs barking in each unit. So... It's most likely Westerners that shouldn't have a dog. Just like back in America, they go to work for eight hours and leave the dog at home for all eight hours. Which is not the kind of a life a dog really wants. But I can almost assure you that that's what's going on there. So maybe some Vietnamese with a dog too. I'm not trying to segregate one uh, kind of people. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely had a lot of dogs and for me since I work at home I don't want to put up with all that noise so that, that wouldn't really be an option for me. Oh, let's have me take a ride up here. Oh, I have no idea what the fuck this place is. Hopefully I'm going to the right place. place to go the wrong place. <laughs> I'm not all too familiar with D2. Um, I go there to eat, but that's about it. It's a cool little airbag jack he's got going on there. Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to go over the bridge or... I work a 
lot. I shoot a lot of my videos in that area. So for me, it makes more sense to stay in D1. And trust me, we got a good deal on our unit. Our potential unit we got for a very good price. Let's just say it went from 1,000 to around 500. So I don't know too many apartments you can find for $500 in D1 that are really nice. So what's the story? Like cities within cities. never gone on someone's YouTube channel and been a dick. If I don't agree with what they are saying, I just don't watch their shit. I mean, making negative comments on YouTube has to be the weirdest phenomenon ever. There's another thing where there's like lots of experts in um, Vietnam that have never even lived in Vietnam, which is also really weird to me. Uh, I would certainly never go to over to like a Japanese vlogger and tell them how Japan really is. Even though I've been there a bunch of times. I get a lot of those guys too that have been on vacation here like three or four times. And they think they have a great deal of knowledge of Saigon. Okay, that's cool. Nova World. This is kind of how you get out of the city to go towards Kumpau. I remember right. Oh, catch this arrow. This guy's gonna run right through this arrow wash. <laughs> Zero fucks given. Love the way we get these drive. It's amazing. I think I'm uh, arriving at the right location. Find out. I've been over here before, I just didn't know what I was looking at. Taking it to the streets. Some cool, cool apartments. This just looks so secluded from stuff. So yeah, we're going to be going, I'm not going to disclose my locations where I travel now because there's a, a YouTuber that follows me around. <laughs> and if I, if I discuss, uh, if I discuss uh, where I'm going, they can try to go there first and film it, which I don't care. It's like a small channel. Yeah, so we're going somewhere this weekend. Should be some really cool content. Somewhere I've never been in Vietnam. It's about two and a half hours away from uh, Saigon. So we'll take the sleeper bus on over. Uh, and then we'll stay at a hotel the first night. And then uh, we will stay at a homestead. Out in the wild. So I'm excited to... Uh, See how that goes. We shall, shall see. Should make some really good content, that's for sure. It's not comfortable, right? I'm just cruising. I'm not in any hurry. Popping in the six. Taking it to the streets. It's such a huge district, one too, man. So, like, everybody thinks it's the expat mecca and only expats live here, but actually, a lot of Vietnamese live in D2 as well. A lot. Uh, so, yeah. And they seem to be pretty family-orientated, if you know what I'm saying. So. What's this one called? New City. Yeah, it looks like a city. The problem with 
these all-inclusive ones, usually like the restaurants are overpriced and the businesses down at the bottom here cost more uh, because they have to pay a pretty high rent to uh, rent those units for business. It's the whole problem with Central is Central has some good restaurants, but they're super expensive because they have to cover the rent, which is insane. It's like $48,000, depending on what size you're... Uh, Agents already here waiting for me. I just saw Windmaster text me. Let's see, we're three minutes out. I don't know where to park. I know we gotta go to a Hawaii Tower. Mahalo! Start learning Vietnamese so I can be a real local. What's this truck gonna do? Okay, here we go. Diamonds Island. I'm sure some one one of my uh, viewers lives in this place. Taking it to the streets. Taking it to the streets. We'll kind of go in here. I'll leave the camera on. I'm curious.
Jackson doing the moonwalk. I'm gonna guess that's Hawaii. Okay. So it's part of the bike. All right, guys, that was your Mojo vlog, and we'll film one on the way back. Maybe we'll tie them together, uh, or maybe we'll just make it one long video. We'll see. Depends on how long it is. So, see you in a bit. That was the worst apartment showing I've ever had. So, we just looked at Diamond Island, and the agent was probably the worst agent I've ever had. Wasted at least an hour of my time. She had six units to show me. In the long run, I only got to see one unit. <laughs> while waiting around for passcodes. The most unorganized thing I've ever been a part of as far as showing a unit. She didn't know any English, but that's not a big deal. I don't care about that. But that was just a shit show. I wouldn't live here for a million dollars. Well, for a million dollars, yeah. But I would never choose to live here. Oh, I can't see how this place is even high rated. nothing nice about this place. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not going to badmouth it all together. It's just, um, it's for families for sure. It's for families for sure. And yeah, I don't have a family, so living here isn't for me. This location isn't good either. Kick the motor vlog off. Enough uh, shit talking this uh, shitty building. It's not shitty. <laughs> it's just uh, not my vibe. Fuck out of here. It's about to rain, so we might drive fast. saying, well, I already had a, a Yamaha scooter, the, the fast one. And I'm like, dude, it's nothing like the R15 or MT15, bro. And he still went ahead and got an R3, but that's fine. Taking it to the streets. So yeah, the apartment was a total uh, waste of my time, which is whatever. Can't win them all, always. That's just the way life goes. I can see the appeal of the place if you had a family. I don't have a family. We are gonna have a family, but not this year, probably not next. Well, maybe next, who knows? Maybe they'll be a little fat and broke by next year. Weather is so nice right now. This is a long ass fucking flight too. Taking it to the streets. So yeah, we're, we're gonna be traveling this weekend.
all the resorts are at. Or like, you know, like we're, we're a conjugated area of just resorts. food in uh, Saigon and then 10 more minutes you're on Bui Vein and in 10 minutes you can go either to, there's so many ways to walk shit I eight minutes over the bridge going towards D2 I'm at, at uh, I can go to Chuck's Burger have a taco I mean I think the location's pretty pretty good at Golden River I've been meaning to explore a lot of Ben Pond so we're gonna start doing that nice but like it's expensive to eat at the restaurants there and, you know there's and it's a pain to leave <laughs> the place you know the, the, there's so much construction on the street going into it now it's uh I wasn't paying attention. 
Oh, it's another, what's a little scenic back, back tour? No big deal. Let's go, baby. Tater tots are coming home. Where's this one to go? There. Maybe. Sure. Why not? Sketchy alleys. Let's go. All the more adventurous. Oh, I see. Taking it to the streets. Well, I said one day I would drive a little fast for a video, so there you go, boys and girls. Don't expect to see that again, though. my run today because I went to go see there's Lindholm's Golden River in all of her glory. So it's uh so right down here if you go down here and to the left you got Chuck's. Chuck's opened a new burger location right here. I don't go there because I'm on keto. I do have a cheeseburger once a week though. I have one bad meal a week, pretty much. little motor vlog, right? Yeah, all right. Guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Stay fucking frosty. 